welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a quick little drugstore tutorial that's what you guys asked for that's what you're going to get it's going to be super simple today it's probably going to be real laid back because your girl is rushing i gotta go i gotta go find me some shoes i got a whole bunch of stuff i need to do so let's go ahead and jump in when it comes to your brows i prefer to use the nyx pencil i don't have any more i do have it but it's around here somewhere and i can't find it so if you can't find it you could just use a regular little uh you know little pencil that you find at the beauty supply store and i'm gonna just take this and fill in my brows oh i think that might be too dark but we're gonna see if we can make it work yeah that's a dark one i went in with a uh, black but child i don't know if that's you know the best color but anyway at this point you just need to follow through girl i'm gonna follow through honey Hopefully y'all can see and I'm not blocking it, but it's just a very light hand and I like to trace out where um, my natural brows end and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, that's, that's dark, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, so I just took a spoolie and just kind of blended out my brows because they look a little bit chaotic and I, again, I'm in a rush. So when it comes to concealers to kind of, you know, clean up your brows, you could use one or two options. You can either go with the e.l.f. If I'm going to do the e.l.f., I kind of like to use the uh, mattifying one under and then use a hydrating one at the top. But today, because I don't want like too dramatic, you know, like I'm not doing nothing major. I'm going to go ahead and use the lip bar. The lip bar concealers are really, really good. I just realized I just got on here and just started talking. But hopefully you guys had a very good Mother's Day. It was better than mine, child, because mine was chaotic, girl. My daughter went and um, broke my neighbor's sprinkler on purpose like just sat there and kicked it until it broke and now i'm waiting on an estimate from him to see how much it is going to cost for us to fix it so yeah girl if yours didn't go like that baby you had a wonderful mother's day because i'm not doing nothing with the eyeshadow today i'm probably just gonna put some bronzer on at the end you already know when i tell y'all the elf primer is something that i definitely incorporate in my routine every single day because this primer is just that good um i have used this one and the green one i don't really know the difference between them it could be you know one is for i don't know hell read read the instructions you know read the instructions and you'll find out the difference but um yeah this is what i go ahead and use to prime my face next i'm going in with my maybelline this is the matte and poreless it's in the shade 365 be careful with this because they do dry down a little bit darker so you know when picking your shade just you know i don't know sit there for a little bit walk around the store and see if it oxidizes but i know you guys are probably wondering like why in the hell did your daughter do that child your guess is as good as mine because when i asked her why she did it her answer was i don't know and that is the only answer that she has stuck with this entire time so why she decided to do that girl the world may never know okay the world may never know okay, i'm gonna use my mocha again i told y'all this is a really good concealer now the only thing is if you like a lot of coverage you may have to build this up in order to get that coverage um so yeah did you guys see that cassie and diddy video my god it is just insane and then to see the amount of people still like oh he didn't do it he's innocent it's like what more because i was at the barbershop yesterday and we was talking about it at the barbershop like what more do you need okay does he need to come over here and slap you for you to believe it that is crazy it's right here on video what this man is doing girl the video is so sad and i, I was talking to my friend about it and um what got me was that she didn't she didn't try to fight back like you could just tell that she was defeated like just tired of everything just so defeated because when he stumped her and you know she was on the ground she just laid there like not even trying to ball up into like a fetal position she just laid there so you could just tell like she's just tight you guys are looking for a contour palette this palette i got from the beauty supply store it was probably all of maybe like three 
dollars okay so you can definitely get that from the beauty supply store but yeah girl and then to just find out that he was able to do this in a public space and not be concerned about it because i'm like you sitting here throwing vases like ain't nobody gonna call the cops but i guess he didn't care because allegedly he paid off the hotel what type of person do you have to be though to accept payment for this scandal knowing that this lady is going through all of that like that's crazy girl child and then i feel bad because i'm like they say it happened in 2016 but i'm like to have to relive that i know i just know like every day is probably hard for her so just wishing her a lot of peace and happiness and healing because i know this could not be easy at all i said that man probably been doing this to a lot of people and think about it just been getting away with it for years girl that is crazy think about how many women who because i know he had a whole bunch of lawsuits they came out but like think about how many women ain't speaking about it you know who not saying anything at all and just going through this by themselves like my goodness that boy is a menace i say lock him up lock him up y'all yeah, i can't cuss so i can't sing my song but lock him up he need to go to jail you going to jail you going to jail i wonder if because that happened in 2016 if she's still able to uh press charges now because i would i would still try to press charges now like uh-uh go ahead and lock him up he done did this to enough people this is too much because normally like i said they don't be having just one victim you know like it'd be multiple victims that be going through this so oh child i'm talking about he 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 picked the right one i feel like he picked the right one because ain't no ain't no boy don't play with me okay now this is not drugstore i would suggest using the maybelline fit me uh face powder if you guys don't have a really good setting powder i'm gonna use the fenty and the only reason why is because the maybelline is a little bit too light i want to set with a color that's a little bit similar to the color that i um that i use as my concealer so that's the only 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 and i'm gonna go in and just make sure i ain't got no bags but that's the only reason why but girl when i tell you i was like what the heck was alex fine teaching you like i don't understand because why are we not training to take down this man you know like girl teach me how to do self-defense or how i'm gonna bust him upside his head teach me something like that child i was so upset for her i'm like uh-uh because i'd have been like uh jennifer you remember um uh, what's her name jennifer lopez and enough girl when she when he went to go stomp her and she grabbed that leg and then was like bam, bam, bam. that's how i would have been because ain't no way ain't no way every single day that you about to do this and they had already said she was trying to leave because allegedly he had gave her a um a black eye so i'm already trying to leave and then you come out the hall into the hallway and be on some other stuff oh no oh no i'm like and then i don't even feel like she was screaming like on the audio i feel like she had just laid down and just accepted her fate was which is crazy when it comes to bronzer unfortunately i do not have a drugstore i don't know if juvia's place would be considered a drugstore i mean you can find it in target but this is my favorite bronzer at first i was like mm, i ain't really feeling it but once i learned like product placement and stuff yes this has become my favorite so definitely get you some juvia's and call it a day all right but then y'all i was wondering i was like damn cassie ain't got like no brothers or nothing that can jump on him nobody girl oh gosh i felt so bad and i'm like there were so many people that witnessed it because like now like there was an interview with uh jock he's coming out he's talking about it like oh yeah i seen x y and z so why didn't nobody say nothing it's not a question why didn't charles say nothing when the man was jumping on her like this is insane now we're gonna go in and use the maybelline i really want to use my beauty bakery but i know that they don't sell it in stores so i'm not trying to give y'all products that are no longer in stores because i don't feel like hearing y'all mouths okay um anyway 
I don't feel like I could be one of those people that just sit around and not say anything. I told y'all that story of like back in the day of my friend being threatened. Like he wouldn't even put his hands on her. He was just threatening her. And I was that friend and would be like, nah, I'm about to bring this pew pew and we about to get busy. Okay. Because you're not about to put your hands on her. Like I'm just, I'm not that type of person. So it just broke my heart to know that there are so many people that just stood around. I don't care how much money you have. And that's why I be telling y'all, like, this freaking um, influencer thing, everybody be like, oh, my goodness, you should really do this full time and get off into it. It don't mean that much to me, okay, because I feel like it's a very sick world. When I seen them folks fighting over, oh, I'm gatekeeping, I don't even want to tell you how to get to the top for fear that you might pass me. I was like, yeah, no, I don't. I don't need to be a part of this at all. So I can only imagine me trying to be in the little celebrity lifestyle. Ain't no way. They'd kick me out first day because, baby, you're not about to do that to her in front of me. You're crazy. You guys are in the market for setting powders. You guys know I absolutely adore the uh, Make a Revolution setting powders. Um, they are only probably like six bucks, if that. I don't think they're expensive at all, but that's my go-to. I love my little Makeup Revolution uh, baking powders. I think they're dual, so they're setting and baking. I really like them to bake, um, especially in this little area right here, because I feel like, girl, it just brightens it up just enough for me. You know, like not too much, but it does what it came to do, okay? Okay, so Makeup Revolution also uh, offers these shades as well. This one, I don't know if this one's still available. I got this like a long, long time ago, but that's in the shade, I think like Terracotta, and this one right here is in the shade Banana. I thought they had a Banana Deep. Oh, they do, look at me, speaking it into existence. This one right here is the Banana Deep. I wanna use the Banana Deep everywhere else, um, just in this area right here. And I'm using Banana Deep because I don't want that to be like too bright, you know? Just like a little bit. Just give me a little bit of highlight up in there. That's it. That's it. You guys are anything like me, you be rushing in the morning, definitely use your bronzer to um, be your eyeshadow. It comes out super soft and just super cute. And I just take a little fluffy brush and just blend that off in there, right? And that's it. And then I'll take the deeper shade which i'll show you guys in a second and i'll apply that to my lid but this just comes off super just soft easy i'm about to get up out of here girl ain't nobody got all day type of thing all right now we're gonna go in with the deeper shade and we're gonna apply that right here to the lid girl my life has been chaotic girl and then my boo thing y'all know my on again off again boo we've been doing very good for like the last couple months though i think we just gotta understand it now but, you know, he um, had to go on a mission. He called it a mission. So, girl, he out here thugging with his rounds. Probably ain't gonna see him for another six months. Like, this is crazy. You might go ahead and make me a wife so I can start reaping up the damn benefits of the army folks. Because this is crazy, girl. But, look, the eyeshadow is completely done. Now, this is a personal preference. You guys can add a little bit of, um, what do you call this, mascara to the bottoms. Or you could just leave it as it is and go. I may add just like a little bit of black to my waterline and um, some mascara at the bottom and call it a day. Again, I'm not going nowhere. I just, I got stuff to do today. I've seen multiple videos lately of um, these women coming out. Like it was the one girl on a podcast and I was at the barbershop and another lady brought it up too. Of women wanting to be with their friends men like it is so damn weird like one girl on a little podcast that's why i feel like everybody shouldn't have no damn podcast okay we all shouldn't be talked to but i guess everybody got an audience i don't know anyway she was saying how she tell all her friends up front that you know if you and your boyfriend break up i'm not opposed to dating them and it's like what Girl, why do you want my leftovers? That is insane. And I'm more of the friend, like, I listen, I be even watching what I wear around your man because I don't even want no damn problems. I don't even want you to think, oh, she's trying to get my man. You know, like, I'm that type of friend. But I'm noticing that girl code 
ain't girl coding like it's supposed to be. For my blush, I use the OPV palette. I don't even think they carry this no more. I don't even know if OPV is still around. They may be. Child, don't give me the lion. But I like this little soft pink blush. I used to have a thing for orange blush, but here lately I've had like just this little thing for this pink blush. I think it looks so good. You know, and it's not too much. It's very soft on the skin. I'm here for it. Speaking of blushes, have you guys tried the Made by Mitchell blushes? I'm thinking about grabbing some. Y'all know I hate waiting on shipping, but I, he, be, he be convincing me a little bit, but I don't know. What do you guys think about them? This may not be considered drugstore, but baby, this gets me right every single time. This is the Sephora, and this is in the shade... Um, what is this, Sienna or 80? Now, I just kind of apply this down here just to kind of make sure that that, um, you know, where I carved it out with that setting powder or whatever, all of that is blended. Now, again, I don't even know if they still carry this because I know they did a sale um, a couple months ago and they were saying that it may be completely out of stock. So I'm not even sure if they still carry it, but if they do run and get it because, baby, this is it's it's amazing i have several of these i think it it was probably like maybe 10 to 12 bucks it wasn't bad they're always on sale so definitely go run and get you some of that all right then you know ooh, let me not do that pick up two of these uh setting sprays if you want to i prefer two of them especially if i'm be out hugging people this one right here is a setting spray but it's also a prepping spray so if you want to prep your skin by spraying this you can then I apply this if I don't want to be transfer proof. So if I'm going to be hugging people, you know, you always hug up because it normally don't be no makeup right here. But um, if I know, you know, people love to hug my face, then I go ahead and go on with this one because I want that to be all over people's shirt. I've had that happen before and it's super embarrassing. So be careful. But that'll tie everything in together. And then this, again, will make sure that it's transfer proof. Now, you will feel like you are drowning when you do this one. Because this right here, girl, it'd be too much going on. All right, so I placed some curls in my hair. I've seen this thing on um, Instagram or was it TikTok? It was one of them. And the person was like, I just can't imagine you guys wearing the same hair over and over. Like, you don't want to get a new wig. Let me tell you something. Baby, I don't know how much I pay for y'all hair, but I know I pay about $300, $400 for a wig, right? So, you are absolutely correct. You're going to continue to see this wig until I get enough wears out of it. All right? This right here is like my favorite. It's the Maybelline in the shade Protector. Again, not sure if they still carry this one either. They may or they may not, but it works really good as a lip liner, especially if you are brown skin. It still gives off that brown color, you know, so it looks super good. Okay, hey, now these two have become my favorites. Again, I don't know if they drugstore approved. They may or not be, but they are super cheap. And you can always catch them on sale on Juvia's website. So this is the Juvia's in the shade Cookie Butter. And I like to apply this one first. But yeah, girl, I said, oh, y'all too rich for me. Because I would think the more wears that you get out of it, don't that mean that the hair is good quality? Or am I tripping? If, if I don't have to buy another week for a whole nother year, honey, I'm not. I'm going to keep wearing the same one. And just styling it different, girl. I don't. Again, y'all too rich for my blood, honey. I forgot y'all be doing $1,200 quick weaves and stuff <laughs> not i said the cat all right guys so here we are this is the finished look hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you guys like comment and subscribe so i think that the look turned out really really good i think that uh when you're starting out with drugstore products there's absolutely nothing wrong with that as you guys saw today i still have drugstore products that i use on an everyday basis i will say that i feel like you know the more you begin to learn your products the more you begin to know um your skin and kind of undertones and stuff like that you will find brands that just kind of cater to you and sometimes they happen to be upscale brands you know like I said the Maybelline looks really really good but I personally can tell the difference from when I use my NARS right so it still looks good but I just 
I see the difference. I like it. I think that it came out good. Um, this probably would be like, you know, on those days I don't want to use my expensive products. Then this is something that we will use. But yeah, this is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I got to go. But I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time.